As the countdown to Glen Eagles continues, we caught up with former Ryder Cup player and three-time US Open champion Hale Irwin. With five Ryder Cup wins under his belt, the American perfectly understands the emotional appeal of the event to the players and the supporters of both teams. Any Ryder Cup, there's a high emotional pitch simply because there's uh, you, you've worked hard to, to make that team, and now you, you're going to enjoy the fruits of that labor and, and uh, to compete against your counterparts on the other side of the pond is we, we compete against one another all the time, but now all of a sudden you're, you're cast into two camps, and now you've got you're going to compete against these guys in a different format. In 1979, the format of the Ryder Cup changed. For the first time in its history, players from continental Europe were eligible to play. A move that completely transformed the event forever. Whatever Ryder Cup team I was on, it was one in which I, I really embraced my, my fellow team members. And, and the 79 team was a, a very good team. And, we had some great players who were playing very well at the time. But I think the mindset uh, was such that while you don't necessarily, you don't boisterously say we were going to do that and expect to do that, but I think down deep inside you, you expect that of yourself. It was an expected result uh, from a, a team that had a lot of confidence. I just was just proud to be a part of that team. They were proud to have him. It was Hale's 5-3 and three victory over Irishman Des Smith that gave the 1979 USA team their winning points. And while the Americans also won the cup in 81 and 83, the landscape changed forever in 85 when Europe won the first of three successive cups. The 80s were was really a shift in the dynamics of the, of the Ryder Cup. The 91 team, I think, uh, we understood that. And, and we understood that it was time to sort of take a hold and get back, and we may have had an older team then. The team was old, but the ocean course at Kiwa Island was brand new, and it would provide the backdrop to one of the most fiercely contested matches in Ryder Cup history. We were certainly the underdogs on our own turf. The, the other team, the uh, UK, European team, had a very substantial team and a very good team. We were battling to try and get the cup back. The night before the, the opening ceremonies, or the, excuse me, the evening of the opening ceremonies, uh, we had Steve Pate was involved in a, in a car accident on the way to the, the festivities, and, and he couldn't play because he hurt his ribs. And Steve was probably our best player at the time. So we were kind of down to 11 against their very formidable 12. You don't want to be surprised by winning. You don't want to be surprised by the success. But then on the other hand, you can't be surprised by defeat. We had to pull around each other. We had to take 11 on 12 and, and try and make that work. Team USA did make it work. Hale's half point against Bernhard Langer proved to be the pivotal moment as the USA won back the cup in memorable fashion. Of all the things I've been able to do in this game and all the things it's afforded me, I think representing my country, and that was perhaps the supreme thing to do.